Alright guys, I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, today, we're just kind of going to talk about the goals for the year with all the cars and what the plan is this year. We'll start with the Chevelle because uh, there's not really going to be much of this thing. Uh, I've been daily driving it. It just runs, it works. Right now it's got a little bit of a transit I need to fix. One of the lines I guess caught against something and it uh, broke so it's kind of down right now but it's a simple fix. I'll probably fix it this week. Um, this car is fun and everything. I made it more comfortable. It's like it's great to go on road trips in. Uh, I think there's two things I want to do to it. I think this year the plan is to make it quieter so I can like drive it and not We'll have maybe like do exhaust cutouts and then make it quieter because it's just an assault on your ears and I'm kind of over being deaf every morning. And the other thing I think I want to do is I want to cam it. I already have a cam for it. I just need to buy like, I need to buy springs, push rods and trunnions for it. And then I'm going to put a big fat nasty cam in this thing. So I don't know why I haven't done it yet. Uh, probably because I, I got the Nova and I really need to finish the truck. but. That's the plan with this thing. I think I also, I'm gonna take this to LST, not LST. I'm gonna take this to LS Fest this year. And I think the plan is to race it. So I'm looking forward to that. The truck. This year, this thing has to get all the attention. I looked back on the videos. And I don't think I've worked on it in like six months or eight months or maybe even later, but it's kind of depressing. Uh, for the longest time it was the parts, but I have all the parts to finish this thing now, at least I think. And uh, it's just waiting for a spot at Adrian's shop so we can go finish this thing. So that's the update with this thing. As you can see, I have a, a box, like there must be like 20 or 30 boxes full of stuff in the truck. And I also have a bunch of stuff in the bed and it is just ready to get finished. Uh, I'm really excited. I got some stuff too that I need to take to, uh, to Weddle to get painted. Those are off his truck. I also need to get a a, uh, a cow panel because I want a smooth one. I have one from Weddle, but I need to fix it at work because it's fiberglass. And that's the one that got broke on his, so I need to fix that. Uh, this other thing also needs a wash. You can kind of tell it's been sitting for a while. So I got to hit Navarro's detail and get this thing washed at some point. And uh, I need to buy some new glass, front and rear glass for it because I saw Fred uh, over if you haven't subscribed to the back video because you can go check them out. But Fred put new glass in his Nova and it's badass. Like it, it looks so much better. If you have like an old car like the Cheval, it still had its original glass. You know, we've taken it out and put it back in a bunch of times. I wish I would have replaced it. So, uh, and maybe, maybe if budget allows, I'll do the flush glass. But for right now, I'm just gonna put the regular glass because I just want to dry this thing and get it back out here. Um, I'm excited to uh, to uh, run the turbo and get this thing going soon. So. That's kind of the update on the truck. This year, it's gonna get finished. It's gonna get heavily worked on for the next couple months until this thing is done. Uh, I'd like to make LST, but I doubt it. Uh, but this is for sure gonna be at Dino's. Oh, so the Nova's not here right now. It's at work. Uh, after I filmed all those videos, I think the whole time we were like slowly grinding the flex plate. And I went on Monday morning to go drive the thing around the block and it just spun, the starter spun, and it, we uh, basically, we, we broke all the gears on the uh, flex plate. So I'm fixing that with the nitrous kit. So, the Nova's getting nitrous. I picked this kit for pretty cheap. And yeah, right now, the Nova just needs a flex plate. We're putting nitrous on it, and we're gonna start racing it. Uh, the plan is to take it to Irwindale soon. I'd like to get some slicks on it. Uh, and that's really it. Uh, I'm gonna get, I think I'm just gonna order the Jags wheels and put slicks on it for right now because they're the cheapest thing because I think later on I want to tub it and do all this stuff to it so I'm going to buy a pretty inexpensive wheel for it and start racing it and then hopefully I'd like to get Taylor to race it soon so it'll be a video and yeah the, the Nova I, I really want to race a lot this year so I'm really excited about the Nova I want to get a pair of slicks for this thing too because I think this thing will be pretty quick and I want to race that and then obviously when I go to LS Fest I want to put it on slicks this time and race it so yeah, I really want to race this year. I've kind of decided I'm over the show stuff and I, I just want to race, so that's the plan. So yeah, this year I really want to focus on like doing stuff to my cars. I feel like the last year I haven't gotten that much stuff done to my cars and I want to change that. I feel like I went to a lot of shows and I was just sitting there like, oh, I wish my cars were here and it's time to like finish these things out. I have almost everything for the truck or I think I have everything for the truck. This thing runs fine. 
Nova runs, just gotta make it a little bit more streetable, I guess, because I, I want street cars. But this year, expect a lot of content on the C10 because this thing is gonna get finished this year. Over the next, like, I would say, like, three to four months, I'm hoping that thing's gonna be like running and driving, putting it in a dyno, and just finally getting that thing done. I'm, I'm like dying to drive it. I feel like no one else is like, everyone's giving me shit for it's not being done, but I want to drive it. It's just, I spent so much time and money on it, I want it to be really nice. Whereas like the Nova, like we threw it together in a week. There's a bunch of stuff wrong with it, but who cares? It was cheap. Whereas I spent a lot of money on this and I want it to be really nice. So that's really it guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, the next video will probably be fixing the Nova and installing the nitrous on, the, on it. And then the week after that, should be working on the truck finally. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I want to say a thank you to everyone who subscribed last year. Um, I'm really enjoying making YouTube videos and I'm gonna keep doing it. So this year, I just had a question for you guys. Would you guys want me to make more like videos I do now or I do once a week and it's just kind of like what I did for the week or the thing that I'm doing to the car for the week? Or would you rather I do like upload once a month and have like this really cool 30 or 40 minute piece of content that kind of covers more because right now i feel like we just work on the car we update i upload i feel like it'd be kind of fun to get like maybe one of my friends or someone to come help me film so that way i don't have to worry because it's hard to work on cars and film like if take like if doing anything on a car takes forever and then trying to film it just adds even more like time and stress and like like the last couple of days of the Nova, like I didn't film that much because we're just working on it. We're trying to get stuff done and it just kind of gets difficult. Whereas if I had someone there, like it'd be a lot easier. It would take a lot of like, I guess the stress off of me thinking like, oh, how do I film this? And it would just be more working on the car. So let me know what you guys think. Thank you to everyone who subscribed and I can't wait for next year or this year, I should say, all this stuff we're going to get done on the cars. What do you think? All right, guys. Well, I gotta admit, it's been a couple years since I've actually been stranded on the side of the road. Um, it overheated, so we need a bigger radiator, or we gotta do something, maybe maybe an electric fan to keep this thing cold. But yeah, we got the flex bed all fixed, and we're driving it home, and I just see this big puff, uh, and it overheated. So, uh, when you're right now, let it cool down. I'm literally like half a mile away from home, so it's pretty hilarious. Uh, now I remember why it's LS stuff and I forgot all this old stuff, but this thing sounds amazing. I'm driving it open header on the street, so hopefully I don't get pulled over. But yeah, I'll update when, you get, when I get home. Made it back. Uh, so I actually, I don't think it overheated. It was just shooting out of the overflow. We don't have an overflow. Um, you can kind of see where we're shooting and making a bunch of smoke. But for the first drive, actual drive, it is way too loud. Uh, I definitely need to uh, put some sort of muffler on it because it is ridiculous. Um, but for sure, I'll have to have some cutouts because, man, does it sound awesome when it's idling. But uh, also, not very streetable. It's got 411 gears and a T350 with no overdrive. And, yeah, I haven't had to drive something with no overdrive for a long time. So that's the update on the Nova. Oh, 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 oh,